We just had our first night in Kyrgyzstan. We stayed in a really nice hotel. It was really nice to lay in some air conditioning, we just drink some wine, and watch some Netflix. And today, we're getting our McDonald's equivalent. We're gonna try to get a taxi to Kishikor, which is two hours and 35 minutes away. What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, Kochkor. Okay, Kochkor. Yes, Two go. Two go. Two go. Two go. Two Yes. Yep. This is our new <laughs> Yeah. It's really nice in here. This is our studio room. And it was about $30 Canadian a night. Dinner at the guest house. Best salad. We're in the Kaisart Pass, uh, somewhere in Kyrgyzstan. Just took a two hour, extremely, extremely bumpy car ride. And uh, had some lunch here at the guest house and got acquainted with our guide. If you can manage the horse. Mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Without very much instruction, I just got put on this giant animal. And, uh, yep, yeah, well, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> All right, we just had our second gallop, and that was um, insane. Um, you're just holding on for dear life and going, gah, 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 and it's going, doo -doo 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 -doo, and it's like, no matter where the horse is going, it's like four wheel drive, four independent suspension. It's just, you know, you just keep going. And, uh, we got going there pretty good, and I was like, just holding on. You've only ridden a horse once and you're already galloping. <laughs> you can do everything. Oh, your horse is so cute. Oh my goodness. So cute. We made it oh, to camp. <laughs> so, out of another bout of what seems to be bad planning, first we had our guide uh, switch out on us, which is fine because this guy's just great. Um, but now we got to our yurt camp and there was no reservation and this place is full so they were going to put us in the kitchen. We'd have no place to stay, we'd be chilling in there until after dinner and then they make our bed for us. <laughs> uh, we're just going to keep on going. So we just found out that the yurts are shared yurts. <laughs> I mean, you know, some people are okay with that but they're cramming like seven people in these yurts. And it's like, it looks like it's all one bed kind of, it's weird. I don't know. But we just weren't expecting that, so we weren't even preparing ourselves. Yeah, I mean, I like, just hope they have- they're all piling in there right now. Yeah, I just hope they have blankets, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. But now we're, you know, everybody's kind of standing around, like wondering where they're gonna like put them and stuff. And I don't know why, but we thought it was like a private thing. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't like it's just never stayed in anywhere and I guess we just assumed that so oh god saga and we, continues and we have like four nights of this I think <laughs> so we'll see this last room just this yurt the, not yeah. the big one but the one beside it yeah, yeah. they will make to hear the bats where so, like two more like they said two. there's already all, all the people are there and that's the thing. no I will speak with him yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm just worried that we won't even sleep anywhere tonight <laughs> at this point, and it's gonna be four degrees. 
they said like there was five people lying here and if you will get to the outside it will be like that's so good hmm. and they make the bed to this one i will ask for the more blankets for you thank you for the pills Welcome to our humble abode. Sure accommodation. I'll be sleeping here. This is the line. <laughs> Just like we'll be sleeping there. And we're about to play some cards. Yeah. Now, because we're in a hotel, we're going to be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ready for day two, Sunco Lake. are so tired. My legs are killing me. I didn't even do do the hike up. <laughs> White horse. White horse. White horse. Oh. Uh. Just a little. Okay. No, no, no. If you are becoming nomad, you should drink ever. Full. <laughs> yeah, it's on. It's on. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Kumas? Yeah, fermented horse milk. Well done. Yeah, spicy. <laughs> Pretty nice. Now I'm a nomad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now it's time to swim. I should just swim here. Today is our last day riding. I think it should be about an hour and a half riding. Depends how fast we go, but my bones are riddled and my back is completely sore. <laughs> and same with my legs, it's just I know as soon as I sit on that saddle it's going to be like <clears throat> But that's alright because this is our last day and um, this experience has been just amazing. There's been maybe a few 
mix-ups here at the yurt camps and I think that over time this is going to have to really sort itself out because there's a lot more tourists coming so um, you know not knowing where you're sleeping until after dinner is kind of really strange not having a bed or a place to lie down really there's no such thing as chairs out here uh, as well so there's uh, so really you're just sitting on the ground which is fine it's great to lay down watch the sunset and or stay in the shade and um, it's just kind of weird because you don't know how many people are going to be in the in the yurt with you um, so that's a little shocking to some people and definitely was to us when we first started but day three let's get at her